Mala wants to pray for uh, his mother. Hey, the Mala. Mother, I guess, has a cure here. Yak Nak Nande. I would like to pray also for uh, there's a blind boy uh, who is sort of, you know, also affected by cancer now. He's doing the exam, so I would like to invite you to pray for that. So we take the reading. You may like to your time. It is your turn. Take the, yes. the reading from them. Yes. You follow. Yes. 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 Analil Sabul, Ibu Palin in a Tirtavi, the third well Kaha, Israel in ten the Dukapata, Muayram Perudan, Ade Noki Purapati Chandral, Adalal, Tavidum, Abisayum, Vidavila Paliatit Kichandranel, Sabul Kuda Ratinul Tungvadayim, our Talematil, our Uti Tadail Kutir Padain Kandanel, Apneerum Padavir. Our Chutilum Padatu Ranginer Abisai Tavi the Dam Inalil Kadabul Umedi Umudam Upper Vitular Adalal Ipur the Nan Avare Utial Idan the Murai Kutamel Ure Kutai Nilatil Padia Kutta for Hurain and Ran Anal Tavi the Abisai Noki Avare Kulade And our Tiripol the Seya Pataver Mail Kaivai Tivutu Kutamatu Idipavan Jar Endusoli Kadatu Vitar Avare, Tavid, Savulin, Talematil, in the Utiayim, Tanir Kuvalayim, Urtukonda pin, Averal Purapati Chandranel, Averal Uruverum Bulika Villay, Ade Kana Vumilay, Ariava Millay, And our Averitu, And the Urakate, Alitir in the Padial, Averalillorum Tungi Kondir in the Pinzu, Tavid Kadandu Sundru, Tolai Vilinda Urukundrin Mirin and Rad. Our holiday, making the devil in the Tavid, Marmol Yaha, Arase, Umurti, Ido Ulade, Ulanyar Urvan, Ipuram Vandi, Adane Udtu Kondu Pohatum, Avanava Nirikum, Unmaikum Epe, And our Ummai Endam Opivitum, And our Al Tiripoli Vusaya Pataver Mail, Nan Kaivaika Villa and Ran. Idu And our in Arulvaku. Uh, Vimala, can you just give a little brief translation of that uh, that reading in Tamil? What are the main points in that Tamil reading? Yes, I, do you want to tell in English? Yes, in English, just a brief summary. If you want to. Yeah, I doesn't matter. That's all right. We'll have the Alleluia and after that I will take it up in the exegesis, you know? Yeah, we'll take the hymn, the Tamil yes, hymn. Father. Yeah. Yes, Niyakanan mara nida mundan pani seya aku vai deva uru vaku vai matu vai na da yenei matu vai niyakanan Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Lord says, "Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom." Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 
The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O oh Lord. Amy, it's your turn. But I say to you who hear me, love your enemy, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, and pray for those who treat you badly. To the one who strikes on the cheek, turn the other cheek. From one who takes your coat, do not keep back your shirt. Give to the one who asks. And if anyone has taken something from you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have others do to you. If you love only Hi. those who love you, what kind of grace is yours? Even sinners love those who love them. If you do favors to those who are good to you, what kind of grace is yours? Even sinners do the same. If you lend only when you expect to receive, what kind of grace is yours? For sinners also lend to sinners, expecting to receive something in return. But love your enemy and do good to them and lend when there is nothing to expect in return. Then will your reward will be great. And you will be sons and daughters of the Most High. For he is kind toward the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Don't be a judge of others and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you and you will receive in your sex good measure. Press down full and running over. For the measure, measure you give will be the measure you receive back. This is the word of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We take a very short half a minute in silence. We we'll love both the reading from the book of Samuel about the offering uh, by Abiathar's priest uh, in the presence of uh, the King David and uh, how his uh, offering was accepted. And uh, the gospel is a continuation of the today's gospel, which is uh, uh, the Sermon on the Plain, the, the Luke calls it the Matthew, the Gospel on the Plain, but Matthew calls it the Mount, Gospel of the Mount, but the same idea, which is about the, the blessing. Hmm? Uh, and we will take a very brief, allow the Spirit of Jesus to talk into our hearts before we speak out to others. So in line with the theme of today, which is the continuation of the gospel of, uh, I mean, Sermon on the Mount, uh, the Lord invites us, you know, uh, the lo love is the, the key. Do unto others what you would like others do unto you. And of course, the hallmark of that, uh, of uh, love is forgiveness. Uh, in line with that same thought, I would like to also, uh, in fact, I was sharing with uh, Desmond, who will be giving his uh, uh, testimony in a few minutes' time, about the Fulton, Bishop Fulton Sheen. You know, now, uh, uh, the Lord's invitation is to love others as God loves us, Jesus loves us. And uh, there are countervailing factors. Uh, his Lordship speak, of course, in reference to the the, the, the healing of the, the, the demoniac in Gen Gen Gennesaret, in the country of Gerasenes, 
where uh, this uh, demoniac was uh, uh, Jesus asked, what is your name? Then the response to that uh, is that I am an army. So uh, the second one, of course, in the, uh, the, the, the nature of this uh, person who was, uh, was possessed by the devil, he was nude, you know, he didn't have any clothes. Then the third one, he saw himself, you know, he was, he inflicted violence upon himself. So uh, Bishop Fulton Sheen's three maladies, how the diabolical uh, effect, the, the, the devil, the power of the evil one uses the three, one powerful means to dissuade us from the, the, the plan of God, which is the message of love. And the first one uh, about his identity. So therefore, one of the maladies that we find in today's society is our divided mind. Of course, they, when it comes to a, a pathological situation, we call schizophrenia, dual mind. But sometimes, you know, uh, that is an extreme. But day-to-day uh, -day living, we find that uh, the people's minds are divided. There is no focus. Uh, in order to achieve serenity or peace, the foremost requirement is that we have our minds focus and the focus is Jesus. If you can center your life in the person of Jesus, everything will be streamlined and you will fall in line. So one of the, uh, in order to overcome the diabolical effects in our life, the first thing that we must have is a focused mind. And to our focus is nothing but Jesus. Then about the, the second malady, which is uh, the sex. Today is a sex-ridden society. So, uh, and the Lord has given the most powerful uh, means for us to come because uh, uh, the sex is for a purpose. First, of course, there are two ends in marriage, but we call the conjugal love. And the other one is procreation to bring forth children. But today we have missed those uh, values and sex has become a means of self-aggrandizement and also to find pleasure in unusual ways. What is the result? The families are broken. The children are the sufferers. So therefore, as we reflect on this gospel today about the need for love, the the Marriage is designed to be an expression of love, but it has become such a, a disaster. And the third one, of course, is about the violence. Uh, his Lordship says his violence is not only sort of causing physical harm, but the essence of violence is lack of love. He says, you know, if, they, if one person does not love uh, the other, it, whether it is a slap on his face or a cutting the neck is secondary. So of course, that the important thing that he wants to drive home is that uh, violence beget out of lack of love. When there is no love, there is hate, and it manifests in different forms. So these are my little thoughts, you know, for this Sunday's exegesis, starting, you know, from the the offering by the priest Abiyata in uh, uh, with the king's, uh, with his uh, being enthroned as the king of the Israel as a model king. Of course, we know that David also had his faults, but the most uh, uh, graphic expression of uh, God's kindness is that uh, David was able to be contrite. The beautiful Psalm, the Psalm 51, is an expression of uh, 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 David's uh, uh, repentance. So, of course, all of us are sinners, so therefore, uh, the repentance will be uh, all back on the hands of a merciful God. So in line with that, uh, the reading from Samuel, the new, uh, the, the, the king, our king is Jesus Christ, the king of all kings, and his message for us is love. And the countervailing uh, 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 directions uh, which deviates us from love is a divided mind and abuse of sex and also infliction of violence. Let us refrain from that. Go back to Jesus as the model on whom we can focus our mind. We can use our sex for useful purposes to beget 
uh, wholesome families and also get away from hatred and love and forgive. God bless you. We will now have the hymn uh, in English. So, Sangha, we can have the hymn in English, okay? Yes, Father, I'm going to play. Okay, right, sure. Thank you. Uh, next is Desmond's uh, witness. We are friends for a long period of time. Uh, actually, I came to know Desmond before uh, uh, his father was also involved with the prison ministry. I don't want to sort of, you know, pre uh, and advance till his uh, mission, but of course, I must congratulate and also pray for his wife. This is his wife. Um, at this particular time, we can't forget Anurika. Anurika. And uh, I will ask Desmond to say what the Lord has done in his life. Mm. Okay, Desmond, here you are. Thank you, praise the Lord. Uh, one year after my father died, I was at a particular place uh, with a group of people and uh, a priest uh, there told me, you make some remarks or comments which are unusual. So I asked him, did I say something uh, to hurt? And he said, no, no, your faith seems to be different. So I asked, how is it? Then he said, uh, we are in uh, June and everyone is talking about the rain in October. Uh, but you are the only person who says, uh, leave October for the Lord. Let's do what we had to do in June. And... Uh, don't worry about the rain. So like that, I had said something. So he told me he's the chaplain to the prisons and asked me whether I would like to read a testimony of two young men, two Ragarites, whom I also knew from the field. 
And next week he brought and gave me. So I read it and I said, Father, I would like to go and visit them for Christmas. He said, okay, even before that I can take you. So he took me there and I met these two young men. One was a Chinese person and the other one was a, a burger boy. So they were young and so that took me to the prison ministry and since then I'm continuously going. So I see so many young men uh, who have been misled or never given a chance actually, even today I told them, uh, some of them were or have been convicted for no crime that they have really done. The law is, I sort of, has no feeling, so they're languishing. So uh, my testimony is that I uh, have a uh, link to them as children. I said, look, I'm a sinful man. Even today I told them as a young man, I was, was also sinful. Even now we are sinful in various ways by thought word, maybe uh, overlooking certain things or not paying enough respect. So I tell them, God is the only person who can help you. Uh, so today's first uh, reading really touched me and I dwelled on it with them. After Mass, we have a small uh, Sunday catechism class. So I told them, uh, read it over and over again and tell, Lord, I have no faith on the case or the courts. So, I mean, we are uh, dwelling too much on human beings. The Lord says in today's reading, a curse on the man who, who puts his trust in man, who relies on things of flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He's like dry scrub. You would have also read the same thing so I was telling them, why are you uh, crying and, you know, getting sad and depressed because your law has not come to the courts or that you have paid uh, lakhs of rupees upon what you have and you are asking for clemency from uh, the judge. I said, so leave the case to the Lord. Tell him, Lord, I'm not putting my trust in a man. You are inside me and you are inside the judge as well. And have faith, do some fasting, pray, forgive. So number one, I tell them is forgive those who sent you there. Those who have given wrong evidence against you. Or even if you have done a crime, we had a couple of who really place their trust sentence. Uh, you are muted, uh, Desmond. Desmond, we can't hear you, you are muted. We can't hear you, Desmond, you are muted. Desmond, can you hear me? Hello. Mafia type of fellows and said, we give you money as a retainer. You don't need to do anything. He said, no, sorry, what you are doing is wrong. And I will never be a party to anything which is wrong. I mean, they're wonderful people. So there are so many who leave prison, I mean, who are fit to be real saints and absolutely good witnesses. Actually, we are put to shame. I, I told those uh, young men even today, some of them who are there. I said, I cannot uh, compare myself to some of these people who have got uh, released from prison and who are leading 
uh, absolutely uh, exemplary lives. I mean, in society, so many people are doing various, uh, how do you say, profit making and various uh, things which are not ethical, but we accept it as normal, whether it be business or professional fees or uh, whatever. I mean, there's so much of things, but uh, we are not at all concerned about those. We are looking at the small man's mistake. But uh, I think uh, I got a WhatsApp message yesterday about how a young, young boy was caught in USA stealing a loaf of bread and some fish, a can of fish. How the judge uh, looked, viewed this case and he pounced on the police and the courthouse and the shop people. That's where the love is. I mean, we are talking of love. On a book, we read and we say, yes, I love this one, I love that. But deep within, I don't know how much we are able to share our time, our monies. We are only trying to, most of the time, uh, more and more, but to be able Desmond, you are muted again. Desmond, you are muted again. We can't hear you. Desmond, can you hear? This young man, women who have been lured into various things, practices or habits. They are languishing there with no hope of uh, getting out or no one gives them a hearing or no one is interested in rehabilitating. So we just cut them off and say, these are criminals. But actually, uh, we have no right to condemn if we really go into it as to why it happened, as Father just now said, about the mind, divided mind. And uh, so if you are focused on the Lord, that means we can't be just thinking of ourselves egoistically. Me and my family, so long as we are okay, what is it? No, we have to look over our shoulders to see what about the other person. But this is my humble testimony. And uh, I thank you for inviting me also into this. God bless you all. God bless you. Thank you, Desmond. Thank you very much. Um, Desmond is fully, he spends the whole Sunday, hmm, almost half the day, with the prisoner. It's a beautiful example, so like his father. Uh, so uh, now we will have uh, uh, refrain him in Singhala. Okay. Uh, it was, of course, recorded by Vikum. And uh, yes, we'll listen to that. Samindi ubi kudarami Seri saranu kaurudu Ubi pivitu kadukari Pali kaurudu Hite kilutak nativa hasirin no Yukti sagat deat hit den no Noak hit kin at the 
avesanno anu ave man divenno kiyanno mudal di gimi poli no keranno sangene anun no pelanno ahinsakayan pela no talanno nidus ay pite warde no te banno thank you uh, beautiful day Okay. Uh, so thank you bikum is not with us uh, physically but he has taken a lot of trouble we have with us and you know and is from holland uh, married to a sri lankan uh, i came to know her through this uh, old benedictines great work she is a multifaceted person but i wanted her to say what the lord has done in her life uh, so and you are there it's your turn thank you uh, father uh, good good afternoon everyone good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. I'm gonna, can I um, share, or I emailed a document to Father that describes a little bit about yoga and what the school and Father and uh, the Benedictine family has done for me. Is it possible mm -hmm. to display that text? Yes, Otherwise, yes. Uh, uh, Susanka, is it possible? No, I've only Otherwise, emailed no, it. I think, I think you, you say it in uh, your own words, it might be better. Uh, oh, okay, and? right. Yeah, so I'll, I'll speak. Uh, I'll just pull it forward. So thank you so much, Father Noel. You know, um, you're welcome. I'm very pleased. Uh, I'm very happy to introduce you, uh, your great work for the college uh, and also for the humanity at large. Thank you, because I'm so happy, uh, friends, to be part of this family in Christianity. Um, it is amazing. And in the former testimony, I heard uh, also the intervention in, in your life. And for me, it was through love for someone that I went to a certain event that I met brother director of St. Benedict's College, who then felt a very positive influence and straight away said, um, and please come to college and do some work with us. And I thought uh, friends, because I'm also a yoga teacher and a lawyer, I thought maybe he wants me to do something predominantly with yoga. But as it turns out, he asked me to start a moral science course. And friends, this is the most divine blessing of my life. So having turned from never, um, I was never in court, I was always in companies, but I wanted to turn away from law and do something more meaningful in my life. And having lived in Sri Lanka now for 19 years, I felt there is so much um, inequality and there is so much, and I'm sorry to use the hard word sin, but in terms of leaving other people behind, and this has a lot to do with one of the most, in my view, key contributions of Christianity, which make most of the Western world relatively peaceful these days and inclusive. And that is to not leave anyone behind and to build a fraternity, which brings us directly to Saint de la Salle, uh, of the founder of the Christian schools and uh, de la Salle group. And so when I met Brother Director, I had no idea that I would be diving into so much into the Bible, so much into the history of the school, and so much into the theory of yoga and how that could perhaps complement us in leading a sinless or a less sinful life. And since Father Noel mentioned the mind, uh, the love, and uh, the, the issues with romantic love in today's context, which he is absolutely, I so agree, Father, yeah. Um, that I thought I will, I will just briefly uh, address these aspects rather than speaking from yoga. But I wanted to also honor my parents' father. Uh, yeah. My father, Hans van der Berg, who is still living, um, mm -hmm. showed from the marriage book that he had with mom, who unfortunately passed away in 2009. He had quoted Corinthians. Mm -hmm. And this is a very small quote from the letter written by Paul to the church in Corinth, where Paul tried to pre teach practical lessons about Christian life so that the people in Corinth who were relatively new to Christianity would actually know right from wrong. And we all know how challenged it can be in, in Sri Lanka, even though we're multi-religious, to actually make, you know, eventualize the basic key benefits and blessings of Christianity. 
And you mentioned love and it was also in my paper. So love, and now I will show you the most excellent way. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, and it always perseveres. Amen. So please uh, observe your own thoughts and feelings, because I love to learn from you, uh, of course, how I'm trying to merge some of the positive aspects of yoga into the Christian life. So when it comes to relationships, I learned from my yoga teachers who were Western um, lady and gentlemen who are a couple, uh, but brought up in um, Canada and then learned in India. And they have also spoken about love and all the sinful tendencies, which are actually not love, which we see online, which as father knows, I am addressing with 300 boys once again after the vacation, A-level boys per week. So like our earlier friend talks about children in um, prison, I talk to children at St. Benedict's College about issues which they sometimes may not discuss with anyone else or are not being discussed. And one of them is romance. So what I learned from my yoga teachers is it is all right. There, there is, we have desire in us, but it has to be kept for loving tenderness and procreation, ideally both. Uh, in a committed and loyal relationship or marriage. What we see today, and it was quite shocking to me because I sometimes leave evenings events also um, very swiftly because I noticed that people today, also in Sri Lanka, um, are transgressing these values and are therefore tending towards sinful lives when it comes to romance and relationships. And we all know that we are not perfect. We might have been you know, sinning in the past in this regard. Uh, but from having lived by myself, you know, for some time, I know that it is possible um, uh, to lead a, a serene and righteous life in this regard. So yoga taught, teaches us to control these tendencies. And we learn so because we learn um, to basically practice our asana, our pranayam, and our meditation. And as a result of that, we create happiness within without a cause which means we're creating less attachments to things in order to make us happy. And of course, we still will always be sinning. We still might have a glass of wine. We still might have an old bad thought, but these incidences um, in my experiences will become less and we will make sure that we are in safe company if we do so. Um, and so what happens when we practice yoga is that we also realize that we have to keep the company of spiritual and um, uh, well, maybe saints as well, spiritual people, uh, Christian people, but also saints in other beliefs, that is of less interest. But what is of interest is that we spend time and our energy with people who are positive and who share the same values, because we will share the same uh, vibrant, positive energy and the same beliefs. So when it comes to romance, the guidance is very clearly also from a yogic perspective, other than the Bible quote, which I just gave. Um, in yoga, we speak about universal love, uh, or when we speak about the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, it is this incredible loving kindness we feel for our fellow human beings, um, animals and nature. And if we live in the present moment, which is again a blessing from yoga, if our love and dedication to this moment is there, it transgresses love into a beautiful universal love. And that again creates the positive vibration and it will aid us towards coming towards the Holy Spirit and meet that Holy Spirit by cleansing ourselves, by being present in this moment. Uh, when it comes to the psychology, that is the last point of um, the mind. Um, Father spoke about um, at certain tendencies. What we do in yoga, we overcome those by actually looking at our mind and by taking maybe sometimes little distance and say, okay, this thing is coming up. At the same time, we may, through our prayers, and I know Father knows this as well, and through our lifestyle, become more intelligent because we have to step away from people who abuse us. Of course, we have to forgive, especially those people who, um, I suppose, will realize mistakes and will also seek to be forgiven. But the beauty is that we become, uh, when we are obviously more spiritual and more present moment aware, we become much more aware that 
if we are positive, if we have love in the school, if we have a fantastic relationship um, with Father Nobel and with the brothers and the sister, we can do anything. And this is when miracles become po uh, possible. Whereas other people who are living in abuse, we have to forgive them because they're acting from a different level of consciousness. So we actually have to come from love and compassion. So this is just perhaps a novel view because this would be yoga philosophy on the aspect of forgiveness, on the aspect of understanding that some people will be good, other people we might have to take a little distance and we can till, still relate to them, but we don't necessarily have to be with them in uh, the power of testimony as we are this afternoon, Father. So I hope that um, your presence will remain in my life. I hope to be here forever, you know this. <laughs> I thank you so much for giving me a chance to talk about um, the three topics close to my heart, St. Benedict's College, um, the Christian and Catholic community, um, education and yoga. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, Anne. Yes, yeah. Anne has a great experience, yeah. uh, uh, though she has not renounced law, but I think she is practicing the heart of law, which is the law of love, right, uh, Anne? Yes. And Paul says the root of law is love. So you are stepping a little uh, one step higher. Thank you very much. And uh, we will have a kind of a, a response, you know, I'm sure the, this idea is to relate, you know, uh, the Lord has done in our lives. So we can respond to what Desmond has said and also Anne has said, how it has reflected in my own personal life. We take about five or 10 minutes uh, before we say the one decade of the rosary. Uh, anyone, yeah, I think uh, some of our good friends are there. Uh, Ruani would you like to, Ruani is uh, one of our old, uh, and Ruan is also from Kotehena for your in information. You know, her mother was a teacher, you know, in the adjoining schools and Lucia's, right? Oh, Ruani wow. has not, yes. yes. Uh, Ruani has not done anything in your life? Yes. Uh, I was just listening to Anne's uh, testimony. Like, uh, uh, I'm at Bitsha, but I was a uh, I was teaching for 35 years at Big Shepherd. Uh -huh. And I was just uh, thinking whether we can do something uh, to the Shepherdians too. Yes. That was my, uh, when I spoke, that was what I felt. Uh, yeah. Because it is the neighboring school. Right. Uh, I have also retired, I thought, uh, like just now, I yeah. thought. Uh, uh, it is possible for Anne to do something for the uh, Shepherdians too. <laughs> There's a question now, Anne. We are, we are at, at joining schools, you know. A lot of love <laughs> matches came because of uh, Good Shepherd being in the close vicinity of St. Benedict's. So, yes. but now we will match uh, the, the, for the welfare of the students, you know, something. And we will yeah. keep that open. And is it possible to link yeah, up, you know, because the uh, Ruani will. Yeah, thank you for asking. So at the moment, Father and Ruani, I'm teaching 18 lessons after the A-level uh, period now is over in March per week in three days because I teach yoga on the other days and I'm starting uh, my own business and then outsource and continue my services to the school. So it is certainly possible. Yes. Yeah, thank you. So we'll keep that in mind, Ruani. We'll also get in yeah. touch with the principal. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you very yeah. much. So uh, thank you. So we'll have one decade of the rosary, like that is how we conclude our program. Uh, three in Tamil, uh, Vimala will take care of that. Uh, three in uh, Singhala, Mala will take care of that. And Nihal, my friend, will take three in Singhala. Okay, Vimala, it's open to you. Yes, in Tamil. Father, I want to offer this uh, decade. I, I, I want to offer this decade. One of my friend's uh, son is suffering by cancer and he's admitted oh. in the hospital in critical yeah pray for him yeah 44 years old so sad yeah, last night she phoned up and said one of my friends so offer this decade for the son's recovery definitely and also one minute yes uh, mala also has requested to pray for her parents right and i said uh, there is also one known to her that his name is dinit a blind boy you know now uh, he was preparing for the exam. Actually, he was not born blind. He met with an accident and he 
uh, he was recovering. And of course, now he's affected with cancer, bone cancer. Anyone, any other intention that you'd like to pray for? The lady, Suyani, who's also down with cancer. Can you say? Yeah. There's a lady uh, who, whom I know she's uh, called Sriyani. She's also having cancer. I would like yeah. so to we'll pray, pray also for, for another family, a family of a prisoner whose wife has uh, gone a little bit straight, mm -hmm. leaving the children. So <laughs> let us pray for that as well. Family mother. Any other intentions? Kemi uh, or Nihal? Uh, yes, we'll also pray for everyone who is here. Okay. Yes, Father. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, go on. Arunrena Maria, ye wal ka katar muda ne pan gal kulle asirvadi ke patval niere mudiya thiye Jesus mas. Achesh Maria, ye karuvesu ne amada ve pavi alai rukrangal kaha ipolo mangal marana niere thiramandi pollo mama. Arunrena Maria, ye wal ka katar muda ne pan gal kulle asirvadi ke patval niere. आशीर्वदे आशीर्वाद <laughs> जेसु नमो मरियनी पे प्रसाद आशीर्वाद लादी भगवान से आशीर्वाद लाओ में मरण वेले देखल मेन वमी जैसु Ishanti, uh, my uncle's granddaughter is there. Ishanti, would you like to say the three Hail Marys in English? Ishanti, I, are you yes. there? Okay. I'm there. I just joined Father yeah. for the first you time. The, yeah, for the three Hail Marys <laughs> want, in English. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. I will keep quiet for the day, Father. Next time I will. Uh, okay, like, okay, all right. I will. Clear for that. Clear for that. May Namu Mari say that three Hail Marys in English. Yes. Clear for that. Right. आमीन Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Forgive us our sins. Save us from the fire of hell. 
and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of your mercy. Remember, dear, dear departed members of our estimated community, to all of them, and also those who have died of this present uh, pandemic, uh, the people who are bereft of their passing away, and also the victims of the bomb blast, uh, to all of them, eternal rest grant unto grant them, O Lord, Lord, and let perpetual let light shine, shine upon Lord. them. May they May rest in peace. in peace. Amen. Amen. I will bless all of you in the Holy Trinity. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, Susanga has taken, uh, in the absence of Anurud, uh, thank you, Susanga. All of you are present, the testimonies, Desmond and uh, Anne, and for all of you who are present. So we will have the closing hymn and uh, we will have one or two uh, uh, patriotic songs. Okay, final hymn to our mother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, officially, our program is over. Uh, uh, we will have one or two uh, patriotic songs. Okay. Father, Vikram is not here and I haven't. All right. No, it doesn't matter. That's all right. Here. Okay. Okay. So we are all officially fi finished with that. Thanks and all the best. We'll see you a month from now. Okay. Thanks, man. Thank God bless. God bless. Thank you. God bless. God bless. Thank you. God bless. God bless you. Thank you.